Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. Happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. I hope you're having an amazing day. I am having a great, great day. Listen, guys, I've been out today penny shopping at Dollar General. I got quite a bit of stuff, but not a whole, whole lot of stuff, guys. I'm still trying to get into the swing of things and still not in a shopping shopping mode like I normally used to be where I would just go all day long. But I am grateful that I'm out and about and getting into traffic and getting to shopping and working on my basket. So with that being said, I will do a video a little later to show you guys what I did get. And yeah, so listen, this is a basket that I am working on and we are going to wrap it up on the channel, okay? A lot of times I don't wrap up baskets on the channel. I wait until afterwards so I'll show you guys the um, completed look. But today we're going to actually wrap it up on the channel, okay? So let me tell you guys, those of you that are selling gift baskets or even thinking about selling gift baskets, the best time to start selling baskets is during a holiday, okay? or doing a event where it's going to draw um, a lot of people and a lot of people are buying and a lot of people are shopping, okay? So Christmas is a great, great time to get started. You have a lot of vendor fairs, you have a lot of craft fairs, Christmas bazaars, different things like that that's going on. And guys, y'all know what I teach, okay? I don't go to a lot of vending fairs. They are absolutely marvelous. I know people that make hundreds and even thousands of dollars at um, vending fairs. But Boss Lady Fee does not do vending fairs, okay? Well, I'll put it like this. I normally don't. I'm not going to say that I haven't or I will not, but I normally don't do a lot of vending fairs, okay? Because my method that I teach or that I live by is to go on the street corners, okay? So those of you that are new following me, that's what I've been teaching from day one when I hit the scenes on YouTube to hit the streets, okay? That's been what I've been doing for the last 25 years on the streets, selling my gift baskets. I've never um, really like catered um, or sold my gift baskets in fairs. And, you know, I've been to like flea markets and stuff like that, but really not um, catering to those types of events. My biggest thing is on the street corner, okay? I am able to make five figures. For those of you that are new following me, a lot of the major holidays, I make five figures. And hopefully, eventually, I will get way, way, way on into the five figures. But right now, I'm making a comfortable five figures during major holidays, okay? So make sure you guys continue to follow me, those of you that are new. And for those of you that's been rocking with me for a while, guys, stick and stay. We have so much more money to make on this channel, okay? So this one here is a particular um, Christmas basket. As you can see, the actual basket is shaped like a drum, okay? And believe it or not, I got three brand new baskets like this from a thrift store. And it's been probably about four or five years ago when I actually bought these baskets and I had them listed on eBay and they never sold. I had a lot of people to show interest in it and but just no one ever bought them. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to use them this year to make gift baskets with, okay? And so this one, let me tell you what we've put inside of this gift basket. Very, very simple. If you don't have these exact items, you can get something similar and make you a nice little um, warm and snuggle type basket, okay? I really don't know what theme we would call it. But it's like some little warm and snuggly things inside. So back here in the back is a nail. Um, let's see what it, this actual kit is. It's a nourishing hand care collection kit, okay? And it has probably about, how many pieces in here? I don't know, but it's quite a big um, kit back here. And it has quite a few pieces in it. We're also, I got this from City Trends, okay? Let me slow down a bit. I got this from City Trends, and I think I paid like a dollar or two dollars at the most for this, okay? I got it a good while back. Um, I also got this brown um, dot blanket, okay? This was from Dollar General, and I probably paid about 50 or 60 cents for this. Um, this is a mug that I got from Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar General. This came from Dollar General, this came from Dollar General, and this was a penny, okay? I paid a penny for this. Of course, you don't have penny mugs. You can go to Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, wherever you can get a mug 
for a dollar or a dollar and 25 cent okay this is some hand soap that i got from a local store and i paid a dollar for it i think either 50 cent or a dollar maybe 50 cent for it okay hand soap we have a candle in here and we have some hot chocolate okay gotta have um hot chocolate or coffee to go with your mug right so this is a nice little snuggle basket i've taken this basket and i've stuffed the bottom with newspaper if you have not seen how i stuff my baskets with newspaper these items are not going to go anywhere okay i know some of you have um, mentioned that when you use newspaper your items settle in the bottom go back and look at um my video and it's called i'm having trouble building a firm foundation i think that's what it's called something similar to that um but if you learn the proper way how to place your newspaper in your basket you don't i don't care how much you push and i'm pushing with force these items are not going to go anywhere okay so either you don't have enough newspaper in here or you don't have it placed in the proper way okay if you get free paper um i get free newspaper that's why i use it i know of so many other different types of paper we can use all of it is great ideas but my thing is i like to use what's free or little money okay so some of the papers that you all suggested they are little money so if you're not getting free newspaper by all means get whatever is cheapest and whatever is best for your business and whatever is going to cause you to make the most money and save the most money okay so let's go ahead and wrap it up real quick guys i don't want to spend too much time i don't want the video to get too long but this is a shrink wrap bag okay and i also sell these bags but i'm out of stock i know a few people have been asking about them i will have some more in shortly for those of you that um have been following me know that i'm experiencing um challenges in my family right now so some things are not readily available okay that's why i said with my shopping like i'm back to shopping but not back to shopping okay so my hauls aren't quite as big as they normally are but just trying to maintain and keep my head above water and do what i need to do to stay strong so i'm shopping but not as much as i normally do okay And all I'm going to do is gather here at the top. Make sure you take out as much plate in your bag as possible. We're going to actually take this under the bottom, okay? You want to make sure that your bags are as tight as possible before you get ready to um, shrink wrap, okay? Because if you leave a lot of looseness in your bag, it's gonna you're going to have to figure out, um, not figure out, but you're going to have to try to shrink it and the bag is not going to shrink but so much okay and this is a pre-made bow and it's pre-made by me but it was a bow that i had on a wreath that i didn't sell from last year and i just took it off and we don't we don't throw stuff away around here we just recycle and reuse okay absolutely nothing wrong with it i just didn't sell the wreath so we're going to repurpose it and use it on a gift basket okay so all we're doing is taping down our sides, taking the looseness out of your bag whenever you are using shrink wrap, okay? This is a heat gun, but if you go back and look at some of my old videos, I just started using this heat gun a couple of months, well, a few months ago. A regular blow dryer would do the same thing, okay? As long as the temperature gets hot enough. Start at the bottom. And of course, if you're shrink wrapping, you need to keep your gun or your blow dryer moving, okay? Because if you don't keep it moving, it will burn a hole in your bag. So the video had cut off while i was recording but here is the completed look guys very very professional you will be able to go and set this basket up at any vending any vending fair alongside the road and i promise you it's going to sell guys if you need extra help with your bows go back and look at some of my old videos where i teach you how to make bows 
and just keep practicing until you get it, guys. The bows are always a game changer. Your wrapping is a game changer. Make sure that your wrapping is professional. Even if you're not using shrink wrap, you're using cellophane wrap, it should always be professional. Give it your best shot every time, guys. And if you do, more than likely, it's going to be a sure seller, okay? Guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. Guys, get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye-bye.